So I want to talk briefly about ingrown toenails. I think we've all heard of somebody getting them. Maybe we've had mild ones on our, on our hands or on our toes in the past. Here's what we do with ingrown toenails. So I'm going to draw a rough diagram here of kind of what happens with an ingrown toenail. So from the top, you'll see some irritation of the skin. It'll start becoming painful in a particular area. Maybe there'll be some drainage here cause some inflammation. And what, what's really happening is underneath the skin, there's a little piece of nail, like a little spike here, that decided to start stabbing. And, and as the nail grows from here, it starts to stab into the skin, kind of like a little spike of, of wood or something. And so what you can do is you can gently move the skin over and cut it flush, kind of like this, or even remove a larger portion of the nail and allow it to regrow. If this keeps recurring and the shape of the nail is basically the culprit of why you're getting the ingrown toenail, some people are born with you know, more, more round shape nails that grow kind of like this. If you were to look at the toe from the front, and those are always getting ingrown, the next option uh, to get rid of it permanently, let's say it's happening on both sides, would be to remove this portion of the nail and then drop some medication here. There's a nail matrix right here. It's kind of like the hair follicle, if you've heard of that. And its job is to make nail. So what you can do, if, if you want, is carefully remove a portion of that nail matrix. And we do that uh, in the clinic. Cut back to this point, put some phenol just to that spot. It's a chemical cauterizing agent, which can be quite potent. So it needs to be done uh, very skilled to remove just this portion of nail. And if done appropriately, the skin will eventually fill in this area, it takes it a couple weeks, and you'll have a brand new nail without this ingrown portion, which should make it much more manageable in the future. If you get the nail procedure done, um, there's a few things to remember. First is that to help with any drainage in the area, because this can become impacted, it's important to follow a soaking protocol. We're going to be soaking about 20 minutes on the hour um, for a couple days. So we'll do this twice a day. And uh, what are we soaking it in? Warm water with uh, some kind of antibacterial soap or something called a Hibi Cleanse or uh, Betadine to be antibacterial. Uh, also, sometimes we, we put a antibacterial topical on there, such as cortisporin, cortisporin drops on a daily basis until this has sort of started to scab and, and heal on its own. You'll see a podiatrist in a week or two to make sure that it's not getting infected, um, which can happen in rare occasions.